Hey, kia ora. I hope you're having a super fantastic sparkling day so far. My apologies for being on so late in this morning in the day. It has been an incredible morning. Um, my mind is just blown right now. I uh, we had a great walk this morning. Zephy got to dig her holes again. Then I came back um, and f and I get on a call that's normally a 15 minute training session every morning. Um, it ended up being an hour long, and my brain has gone. Poof. And then I made the mistake before coming on and doing this of watching my friends, the EBs, um, do another video. Now, if you remember back in, jeepers, when was it? It was Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Was that, a, was that March or February? I think it was March. And they did the thing in Walmart with the alternatives for toilet paper. The video they posted today tops. I had to pick myself up off the floor. <clears throat> It is, so you have to excuse the horses. If I have been laughing so hard. Um, my sides are already aching. Like I said, I fell on the floor. <laughs> it, was, it was even funnier than the toilet paper one. Well, I found it funnier than the toilet paper one. I've just shared the link. I just shared it onto my Facebook page. So please, please, please go check that out. Um, it was just an incredible, incredible video. But I've had an amazing day of training already. My mind, is, like I said, is blowing. So your challenges for today. Huh. Catching breath here. Um, first challenge, mindset is all about completion. When you say that, when um, when you when you think you are done with something, it may still linger on the subconscious, and it may be there may be something in it that is holding you back from moving forward. So when you turn around, like for example, when um, when I moved out of the house um, that I had been renting on April thirtieth last year. Oh my gosh, that's almost a year ago. Wow. Where's the year gone? Um, I did a I did a video walking through the house, turning the lights off as I went, talking about memories that we had in that house. And then when I closed and locked the front door, I then declared my life in Solana Beach complete. By doing that, the brain, the the subconscious suddenly says, "Okay, we are now done with that. We can store that away in whatever archival area it has to go. We don't we don't need to hang on to that anymore. We are now free to move forward." So when you declare something complete, you have now releasing your brain from having to actively work on it, and it has now created a space that you can now step into another area or a new adventure or a new opportunity or a new thought process, and it just frees up that space and allows more creativity to come through. So today is about declaring things complete. It could be something in your past that is holding you back. Remember a few weeks ago we did one on forgiveness. So you were able to forgive, but did you complete? So whatever things that you gave, um, that you um, declared that you had forgiven, you now need to go back and say, I declare it complete. And when you declare it complete, the brain's going to release it. And now you're free to move on and into new adventures and great things. Business goal for today. <sighs> We're still working on our projects, but today is Finish It Friday. Um, we used to love this when we were living in LA. We'd go to finish it Friday. We'd meet up with some friends down at a local, at a local bar, a local restaurant, anything, and we would get together on a Friday and talk about our week, our wins for the week, our breakdowns for the week. Um, and basically, it was just finish. It was finish it Friday. It was get the stuff done. It's now off the plate. It's complete. Okay, this is another way of completion. Um, so what little projects do you have today that you can complete today to say, okay, I am done for the week. We are finished. So finish it up. So finish it Friday is finishing up those last little things, tidying up the loose ends and things, and getting ready to move on to a brand new start next week. Um, and your fun thing today is surprise, surprise somebody. Pick up the phone, call somebody, and say hi. How are you? How are you doing? Are you having a super fantastic sparkling day? Okay, you might not want to use that phrase, but whatever phrase that you use that that implies a super fantastic sparkling day. Um, just surprise somebody, pick up a phone, give them a call, um, pop a note in the mail to them to say, hi, just thinking about you. Um, and I'm talking mail as in snail mail, writing a card, that sort of thing. Um, just loving on people today. That's what your fun activity is all about, is loving on people. Maybe it could be um, making a meal for your spouse tonight, your loved one. Um, if you're by yourself, pick up the phone and call somebody. Um, and just make it, just make it something fun, something unexpected that you can do within the confines of our stay-at-home orders. Okay, those are your only boundaries. Whatever the stay-at-home orders are, in place. Find a way to surprise somebody, whether they live with you, they don't live with you. 
find a way just to have fun and surprise them. It could be doing something as simple as making a picnic dinner and having it in the middle of the living room floor. Or in the middle of the bed. You know, go watch a movie in bed. Who knows? Just whatever. Just surprise somebody today. And lastly, before I get off for today and let you go and enjoy the rest of your Friday so you can com declare things complete and you can do a finish it Friday and go surprise somebody, um, I want to share the love with everybody. I love, you know, I love, I love surprising people. I love sending people things. So in the description of this video is a link for you to get on my birthday card list. If you would like to receive a birthday card in the mail, and this is in the snail mail, as in the letterbox, the mailbox, whatever you buy, the postie brings it by. That's for the New Zealanders. Um, <laughs> the mailman brings it by, whatever it is, a way that you get that snail mail. If you would like to receive a card in the mail, please click on the link that's in the description for this video. Fill out the form and you will be on my mailing list to receive birthday cards. Okay, and maybe a gift or two. You never know. Um, but that's it from me for today. So your challenges for today are um, mindset, declaring things complete. For business, it's finish it Friday, finish up those last minute projects, those little tiny things that you've got, so you're not leaving no loose ends. So when you come into the office on Monday morning, and I know your office is probably about 10 paces from the bedroom, but that's okay. Wherever you're set up to do work, that's your office space. So when you come in to do your office space on Monday, you're starting the day with a, with a fresh slate. Everything got finished on Friday. We're starting, we're getting ready to start a new week with new projects, new to-do lists and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and then your um, fun activity is surprise somebody somehow. Within the confines and the restrictions of the stay-at-home orders, find a way to surprise somebody. So you might have to use a little imagination on that one. Um, if you need some, if you need some help with some ideas, Feel free to send me a private message. I'm more than happy to help out with some ideas on things. Um, but otherwise, have a super fantastic sparkling day. And we will catch you guys tonight with our update for today. Until then, heck on era.